Oh, hello, hello, Temp Fam. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in today. Now, I have taken a little break just to catch up on some spring cleaning, but I had to turn my camera on and show some love to my good girlfriend here on YouTube, Miss Kay, who is hosting this wonderful collab, and it is called the I Love Your Style Collab with Miss K. Here are some of her pieces. She does amazing tablescapes. Her colors, themes are absolutely gorgeous and she has beautiful decor and style and it's very eclectic at times with a red ceiling <laughs> in her dining room and her cheetah print in her bathroom. So um, I absolutely love her and uh, yeah, I love her style. So I am doing the I Love Your Style um, in honor of Miss K, but also today I'm going to be replicating something that I saw my girl Shoshana from Regal Designs by Shoshana. Now all things Shoshana. And she created this and I want to redo it just because I love her style. Now, honorable mentions. Absolutely, absolutely, I love Miss Shelly of Pretty Inspired Decor. And I also love Miss Tammy's Glam Queen of DIY. Before I talk to you a little bit more about the styles that I'm loving, I'm just going to be showing you what to do for this DIY. So uh, if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I don't throw away much. So we got a new TV for the boys room and it came in a box and it had these huge pieces of foam. So the foam measures about 42 by 36, just eyeballing it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this curtain, shower curtain that I picked up from the store and it has some of the coral that I'm going for for this season. So what I'm replicating is her take on inexpensive wall art using a shower curtain. The first thing I'm going to do is to spread it out and then I'm going to have to iron it to get all the creases out of it. Then I'm going to flip it over on what Jamaicans will call the wrong side, right? So basically you're putting it face down on top of the fabric so it will be easier for you to work that way. So you just have to size it up. If you're going to be doing this DIY, you have to just size it up and make sure it's even on all sides. Now, that's if you're going to be cutting your fabric. The other trick is that you want to pull your fabric taut. Now, whether you're using canvas or cardboard, foam, or whatever it is that you're using, you have to pull, to pull your fabric really taut and tight just to make sure you don't have any lumps and bumps and creases. So at first, I thought, without thinking, that I'm just gonna use some hot glue and glue down the fabric onto the foam board. Wrong. As you can see there, the foam will melt from the hot glue. So then my next thing, I decided to use some thumbtacks. Now the thumbtacks worked, however, they don't go as deep into the foam as I would like it to, but because this is just a temporary, just showing you how to do this DIY, because I really loved how Shoshana did it. And of course, if I love her style, then I have to show you a little something something on how she does it, right? So I'm going to link her video below as well. Now, if you're not familiar with Shoshana's channel, she's a lifestyle channel. She does all types of funky stuff. She does DIY, she does home decor, she does cleaning videos, she does vlogging, she does thrift hauls, she does it all. Now, let me tell you something. I've been watching Shoshana for about six years now. And so all I'm doing here is I'm just pulling it tight and trying to stick the thumbtacks in so and at the corners I folded it like a gift wrap so Shoshana I mean I love her style because I find that her style is very unique 
Now, Shoshana will have one room and that one room within a year or two years will have turned into four or five different rooms as her family needs that space to be. So let's say it's a dining room today, tomorrow it's an office, the next day it's a pantry, the next day, well not the next day, but you know what I mean. And I love that about her. I've never seen anybody do that. She really just makes her home work for whatever she needs it to be at that particular time. And I really love that. Um, so for this wall art, she was just trying to add some color, a pop of color to her home because she's usually white and grays and mu muted tones, right? So when I saw her do this particular one, this particular piece, I mean, the, the, the pops of color and the vibrancy of the fabric that she used for her shower curtain, oh my gosh, amazingly beautiful. And I said, perfect timing because this video just came out last week i said perfect i have to have to have to do it so i absolutely love her style and how she um she does revamp furniture she makes furniture oh my god y'all have to check her out if you're not familiar with her absolutely beautiful girl and beautiful design style so um Again, my issue with this fabric is that I was too cheap to cut it because I like the shower curtain. So I'm actually waiting for the curtain that is more uh, matching of my overall aesthetic with the grays and the whites and the golds. I'm waiting for that shower curtain to get here from Amazon. And then that's the one I'm really going to cut up and put around the home um using different sizes of foam board or different sizes of canvases so this is really really super easy and quick if you're going to do this diy i promise you you're not going to be disappointed it really just comes down to the fabric that you use right so you're going to get the fabric that matches your style your style matches your taste matches your decor and you'll be good to I'm not going to show you how this looks on the wall, unfortunately, because I am not going to be putting this on the wall. I just made this for a sample purpose to kind of do a dry run to see how it's going to go. So it came out super pretty. And because I did not want to cut the fabric, of course, it's bulky at the back. So I can't hang it either way. So again, this was just a little dupe just to show you how it would look like. But I will show you once I get my curtain from Amazon and make the ones for my house, I will actually come back in another video and show you those. So guys, here is what it looks like if you were to hang it or if it's standing up. And I love it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments whose style you like and not in a bad way or a competitive way or a jealousy type of way. Just somebody you admire. Look at these two pieces, guys. I absolutely love them. So honorable mention, I absolutely also love the style of Miss um, Phyllis of JRC Restoration. She does some amazing work, y'all. Amazing. I've also been enjoying Style by Miss Linda and her channel as well. And uh, Miss Stacy. I there's so many people, too many to name. But I absolutely love how Shoshana's turned out, and I can't wait to actually do mine with the fabric that I have in mind but I do like how this came out so please let me know in the comments what you think so make sure you go on and check out the playlist and see who everybody's digging for their style and of course I have to say I love Miss Ellen of Glamour Ellen her style is absolutely impeccable there's also Simple Southern Reflections with Miss Thelma. Um, who else? So many. And there's Style by Casanova, inspired by Chanel. And there's so many more to mention. 
and I just can't mention them all. Please make sure that you check out the co-host channels as well. And they are creations by Simone, Shawnee on the Spot, Design to a T, Miss Debbie Bubbles, Lady Cinnamon, Gigi Faison, inspired by Chanel, and Marie Key's Happy Home Decor. All these beautiful ladies, I absolutely love their styles as well. And I am so happy to be taking part in this collab. So guys, this was such a fun collab. I thank you guys for having this collaboration. And as always, I hope you guys are safe, happy, healthy, and blessed. Without the playlist, and of course, give my girl Miss K some birthday love. Show her some support and let her know I sent you. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video.